Okay, we're going to talk about parallel and perpendicular lines today and how we can um, determine if two lines are parallel, parallel or perpendicular to each other. So parallel lines are, are lines that have the same slope. The symbol for parallel we know is two lines that are parallel to each other. Perpendicular lines are lines that have negative reciprocal slopes. And the symbol for perpendicular is an upside down T, okay? So negative reciprocals are um, numbers where you change the sign and flip the fraction. So we change the sign and flip the fraction. So for example, if we were going to do 3 over 4, we change the sign so it's now negative and we flip the fraction 4 over 3. Um, 2 is a fraction, we just write it over 1, so that's negative 1 half. We change the sign and flip the fraction. Now 7 over 8, it is negative, so now it's going to be positive. Flip the fraction of 8 over 7. And then these are a little bit tricky. 1 over 1 um, when you flip that fraction, you just get negative one. And if you have a zero slope, so that's a slope that is a horizontal, so that is zero. Um, oops, sorry. So if we were going to do a perpendicular, that means we need a slope that is up and down, so that is undefined. So now we're going to determine if the slopes of the following lines A, B, and C, D are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So to do this, we need to figure out the slope of those lines. So if we remember our slope is our difference of y's on the top. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that's slope. So if we were going to do A, B, we're doing 6 minus 3 over 2 plus 2 because it would be 2 minus negative 2, which is plus. So 6 minus 3 is positive 3, 2 plus 2 is 4. And if we were going to do CD, we have 3 minus 0 over 3 plus 1, because it's 3 minus negative 1. So 3 minus 0 is 3, and 3 plus 1 is 4. So these slopes are the same. So we have 3 over 4 and 3 over 4. So they're the same slope, so those are parallel lines. So we're identifying the relationship between the two slopes here. Number two, we have four minus two for AB over five minus zero. So four minus two is two, five minus zero is five. For CD, we have three minus eight and three minus one. So three minus eight is five and three minus two is two. So we have two over five and five over two. So this is a negative reciprocal. However, we do not have a change of sign. So if we don't have a change of sign, oh, wait, I mean, my, yep, I'm sorry. Up here I messed up, it should be negative five. So we do have a change of sign, so those are perpendicular. So one is positive, one is negative, and the fraction is flipped. AB, six minus eight, two plus one. So six minus eight is a negative two, two plus one is three. Three minus two and three plus one. Three minus two is one, and three plus one is four. So we have negative two over three and one fourth. There's no relationship between these, it's not 
one isn't reduced or whatever, so this is none. There is no relationship. AB, 4 minus 3 and negative 1 minus 2. 4 minus 3 is 1 over negative 3. And CD, we have 6 minus 3 over negative 4 plus 5. So we have 3 over 1. Okay, here we have 1 over negative 3 and 3 over 1. 1 is positive, 1 is negative, um, and they are flipped, so these are perpendicular. Going over to the other side, I'm just going to skip those because they're just repetitive, and I'm going to go down to the bottom. Given A, B, and C, D, find the value of X so that A, B is parallel to C, D. So we know all of the points for A, B, but we're missing one value for X here. So if we do 2 plus 12 over negative 2 plus 9, we get 14 over 7 which reduces to 2 over 1. Okay, now if we set up our slope for CD, we have 6 plus 2 over x plus 5. So 6 plus 2 is 8. And we need something over 8 so that this reduces to 2 over 1, okay? So 8 divided by what is 2? That is going to be 4. So we want x plus 5 to be equal to 4. So if we subtract 5, x is equal to negative 1. Over here, we want to find y so that AB is perpendicular to CD. So we don't know all of the values of AB, but we do know all of the values of, of CD. So 16 minus 11 over negative 5 plus 8. So 16 minus 11 is 5, and negative 5 plus eight is positive three. So perpendicular means we want the slope to be negative three over five, okay? So when we do this, we get y minus two over negative one minus nine. So we have um, negative one minus nine is, did I mess up here somewhere? So I did 16 minus 11, negative 5 plus 8, okay? Oh, I did because if you see here, I did this first point and then D, so I have to do this first point over here. So it would be 2 minus Y over 9 plus 1. So 9 plus 1 is 10. So if we say we multiply this by 2, we would get negative 6 over 10. So we want this to be up here to be negative 6. So 2 minus y is equal to negative 6 minus 2. y is equal to 8. My apologies for that, and I was getting distracted by all the messages. But hope that helped.